Well, today I'm going to attempt to fix my lawnmower. The one I bought back in the fall of last year. Yeah, it's been used a couple of times. I was going to go ahead and attempt to cut my own grass. And there's Bonix hanging out. But nope, it doesn't want to start. It's acting like it's not getting any fuel. So I'm going to do some checks here and see what's up. Because, yeah, this is the plunger. And it sounds like it's not getting any gas. So. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, yeah, we'll tear into it, see see if we can try to resurrect this thing, because I've already priced around at a repair shop, uh, like 75 bucks an hour, something like that. And I'm like, man, I could just go buy another used lawnmower for that price. I paid 60 for this one, so. Yeah, I'd rather just see if I can try to resurrect it before I give up and have to, you know, buy something else. Last thing I want to do, so. Anyway, let's tear into it and see if we can resurrect it. Alright, well, the two size nuts I'm going to need are 9 30 seconds and 5 16 or drivers, to get these nuts here and pull this cover off. So, right, let me go ahead and do that. change. Put this one on. There we go. I don't know why they use different size nuts like that, but yeah, of course my battery's about dead on this screwdriver figures. Alright. Okay. Well, everything looks clean in there kind of dry so yeah my guess is there's maybe that fuel line there probably take it off next and I'll see if we're getting gas well yeah I got fuel dripping out of this thing after moving the fuel line so it's definitely got to be somewhere in the where the float is and stuff on the bottom of the carburetor so I <sighs> guess I'll be trying to take that off and of course it's not an easy spot 930 seconds is the size of the of the uh, screws but you know I can't get my screwdriver up under there so I'm gonna have to find a wrench or a socket I'm trying not to make too big of a mess but I mean I've obviously got gas in here the float seems to be working fine uh, I'm just leaking gas everywhere, so I clean out the the uh, intake holes there a little bit. All right, so I broke out a little bit of carburetor cleaner, cleaning out the jets and stuff, and seeing if uh, that'll do anything. I'm just not seeing anything. I mean, there don't see any dirt or whatever that could be blocking it up or whatever. So I'm just doing a clean out and piecing it back together and hoping for the best. All right, well, we're back together. I can feel the plunger. Seems like it's sucking some gas now, so it must have been something there preventing it from getting a good, uh, a good vacuum. So we'll set it down and try to fire it up. Okay, moment of truth. Ugh. There we go, come on, come on. Yeah. All right, resurrected the lawnmower. Yeah, I think it's got a bad vibration. I think it's got a bent shaft. That's why I got it so cheap, but hey, it still cuts the grass and it's good enough for my yard, so. I'll get the tools. Oh yeah, I used my squirrel trap for a little ramp there to help me out, so. Well, cool. I guess, uh, yeah, quick clean out of the carburetor. And, uh, yeah, like I said, there was just, I wasn't getting gas. The plunger wasn't priming properly. So, must have got whatever junk was 
causing the problems and uh, working good now. So awesome. It saves me a $75 uh, charge. <laughs> well, money is tight and yeah, instead of paying our our friend 40 bucks to cut our yard, the front yard isn't that bad. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the backyard myself. So save me some money. So I'm going to be cutting my own yard. Oh boy, let this be fun.
fine job. <laughs>